Um, okay, so first thing you need to do is go to uh, and get your uh, Windows 20, 2022 ISO. So what you'll do is go to Google and just type Windows 2022 ISO. 2022 is not rolling off my tongue. And then uh, go go here and then just basically follow it through once you get to the uh, uh, slow day. Um, you don't have to do this and oops, no. So what you'll want is the, the ISO. So that's what you'll want to download. And when you say continue, it's going to have you fill out some stuff and then you'll be able to download it. Um, so once you do that, that's the first part. Then the other thing is, depending on your operating system, um, I'm using Pop! OS here. It's nice, you can just go to the Pop! Store for if you want VirtualBox. You can like literally type VirtualBox. Oops. There we go. And I've already installed it, but you just basically click this little install button that's next to the virtual box and that'll install it. You, I would recommend a reboot. I don't know. Um, I know it's Linux and, uh, you know, the KVM's already built into the kernel and all, but I think it's still better to, to reboot after installing a hypervisor. It just makes me feel better. Uh, so that's it. That's, that's, that'll be the prerequisites to starting this. And then we'll install the operating system. All right, so today we're going to try to install Windows Server 282, I believe it is, um, in VirtualBox. Now, this processor doesn't support Windows 11, so I'm not 100% sure if this is going to work. Well, let's try it. So our first thing we'll say is new. We'll say uh, Windows 22, I think it is, and we're going to pick Windows for sure, and then... I guess we'll use 2019, it's close enough. Uh, let's go to 4 gig. I think it probably needs at least that. Let's see, 4096, I believe. Then 50 gig. Yeah, let's uh, we can uh, do that here in a bit. Yeah, that's fine. Dynamically, so this is basically saying as the drive needs uh, space, it'll grow the virtual hard disk file. Um, next is we're going to change it. I'm going to change this to uh, 100. Alright, so let's go ahead and start. Let's grab, uh, let's see, add. If it's this one, yep. Let's double click on you. Choose and start. So essentially what I did was just add the ISO to the, to the, uh, what do you call, to, to allow it to install. So anyways, we're starting to install. So far so good. It actually booted. So that's, that's nice. Still go away. Oh, cool. All right. So this looks pretty familiar. Yep. Install now. Wait, wait, wait. Oh yeah, server 22. We're going to use the standard edition. I don't really need data center. Oh, shoot. Close this. Let's see, install now. And there's a mistake I made. I want to go back and show you. I want desktop experience. I think this is just going to install it. Oh, it's most of the graphical environment. Yes, yeah, so this is all command prompt. Uh, I want desktop experience, so that's what we're going to use. Sorry about that. Now I'll agree not to read their licensing terms. Uh, custom, we'll put it on the hard drive. And we wait. And we're waiting. All right, so now we're doing the updates. Looks like the OS is actually installed. It shouldn't be a ton because it's a premium operating system. And we got a reboot, yay. I'm just gonna hit restart now. And while that's booting, I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect the, uh, the ISO. So let's just take the check out of that. And that way we won't get that message again. Oops, uh, where'd it go? Up to goal, yep, so. We don't need that disk anymore. So what I'm doing is just seeing how much RAM I have available. Um, so I'm using, 
So a total of 15, I actually have 16 gig, but I think some of it's being used for video. Actually, none of it should be used for video, because I have a dedicated card. Anyways, I have 16 gigs of RAM, uh, 4 gigs of swap. We're using 11 gig right now between both VMs. So I have two VMs running right now. Uh, Windows 10 desktop and uh, and this. So, looks okay. All right, cool. Let's close that up. First boot's always the longest. Oh, cool. So, interesting, it's just as you set your local administrator first, so let's do that. Oops. Just making sure my caps lock's not on. Let's try that again. And my super secret password. Alrighty, say finish. So it won't even, it doesn't give you the option to add a local account like it does on Windows um, 10. And that's it. So let's see here. We need to do a little control delete. Let's see here. We'll put our password in. I don't know if the, try it. So um, we need to install the guest tools, uh, guest editions, um, but they were made for 2019. This is server 2022. So don't know if they're gonna work or not, but we'll give it a shot. So far, everything's been going pretty well, so I'm feeling okay about it. So we're gonna log in. Uh, be quiet so we can speed this part up. All right, we have a desktop, and let's confirm. It's still be a little slow. I think it's still sort of doing its thing. I can see it's still thinking here, but I'm trying to get the settings. I'm gonna give it a minute just to settle down. This is the same screen that's been out around since I think 2012, right? Yeah, this all looks pretty familiar. This is all looking like 2012, but that's cool. We can actually see. Everything. Let's give it a minute to catch up. Oh, what do we got here? Our time zone's wrong. Let's fix that first. Oop, not that one. Change time zone, that's what I want to do. Minus seven, chick, 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 mountain. Okay. And let's see, so we've got, I don't know how many processors I gave this a little, that might be the other part of the problem. Let's see here. Machine settings, there we go. So we go to machine settings, system. Oh, I gave it one core in order it's running like garbage. All right, so we'll have to shut this down to give it one more. Uh, but actually, yeah, it's okay. So let's see here. We got four gigs of RAM. We got about almost 100 gigs of space. How much of the how much of space do we have left? So the base install looks like it took a little over almost 11 gig. Um, it might vary because as this operating system matures, I'm sure there'll be updates that'll be coming to it. It'll probably get a little bigger. So I would call it 11 gig at least. Um, and this is where we can add the domain, add a change computer name. We can do all that with PowerShell too. I just want to kind of see. So let's do. The guest edition's next, so we're gonna say insert guest edition CD. Let's click on that, let's open. And I don't know if it's this one or this one. I'm gonna run this one, I think that's the one, the tuner, yeah. And then it should auto pick what it wants. Guest editions, yep, yeah, we'll try this. Install, let's give it a minute. Uh, let's see, this is we're installing the different drivers, so this one's for, I don't know, one of the drivers. Well, probably two or three of these messages, maybe even four, I don't remember. Oh, there it goes, now it's picking up the video. Alright, I want to say I want to manually do it later, and the reason I want to do that is... I... 
what tab I'm recording this thing because it is not not happy. So let's say shut down, continue. Oh yes, please do this. Please shut down. All right, cool. So this is of course my Windows 10. It's running headless. This is uh, not running headless. So let's go to settings. We're gonna add one more core to this thing because. Um, That'll help it a lot, I believe. All right, there we go. Now let's go ahead and start her back up. I don't. Okay. And hopefully between the guest editions and the extra uh, extra core, it should be a lot better. Oh yeah, it's already feeling better. Input, let's see, control, alt, delete. Look at that. All right, so we've got the eval of Windows Server 22 running, and uh, that really didn't take very long. That took maybe 20 minutes. This has got a, uh, uh, what do I, need? let's see here. I don't remember what CPU this is to say here. Oh yeah, so this you can see there's an i5, um, not really the, <laughs> The greatest CPU in the world. It's got a decent video card, but not, you know, it's an older, it's a 3000, you know, it's a third generation i5. So, um, but so far it seems to run pretty good once once you had that extra core and put the guest editions on. So, uh, we'll explore the operating system later. Thanks for watching.